Shalom Sim Racers and Auto Sports Enthusiasts. Welcome to the Hauling Hebrew Racing Channel. I'm Hauling Hebrew and thanks for dropping in. Today I'm doing a tutorial on selecting livery for race cars and paint for street cars. And we're going to begin as usual in Race Central and we want to navigate using the paddle shifter on the steering wheel or whatever corresponds with R1. And we're going to use the D-pad to navigate to my garage and we're going to hit the X button to option in. You can also use the option button through a drop window and you can enter into my garage through that option as well but this is just my personal preference in navigating through the project cars menu and once you're in my garage you would navigate with your d-pad to select car and hit the x button to option and now you can choose your manufacturer there's two methods of choosing manufacturer one is by race class and the other is straight by manufacturer by race class you would option in here and you would just choose the race class that you were racing in and you would just enter in that way and from here you would choose your manufacturer and then from the manufacturer menu then you would have a sub selection of the different models of that manufacturer but what I typically like to do is I like to go straight into manufacturer all manufacturers and I would just hit the infinity symbol I guess the infinity stands for all manufacturers it, I believe infinity really stands for endless and uh, Project Cars doesn't have an endless selection uh, but it does have a pretty hefty selection once you learn how to use the once you learn how to use the options here we're going to navigate to Mercedes Sauber C9 since that's what we're driving and once you now you have a list of the different models we're going to run the Sauber C9 and here we're going to use the D-pad either right or left to find a livery that we like, one that we're partial to. Just scroll with your D-pad until you find something that's cool. That's the old livery. Gran Turismo, that's all they have. The Vittoro. Yeah, I like this color. I like this livery. I like this paint scheme. So you would just hit the X button to choose it. And as you can see with this save indicator, it went down. Now we're ready to go racing. And to choose the paint option, it would be the same thing, except you would choose a street car and it would give you your different paint options. Relatively straightforward and simple. And we would hit the circle button to back out. Now we're ready to enter into solo race weekend, free practice. You can't run um, career through choosing your livery. The manufacturer or the owner, you're hired, you're hired help. So you're actually an employee in career mode. So you don't have the option of choosing the livery for the team. But through free practice, and online racing you can choose delivery but we're going to run a quick solo uh, at Le Mans I'm going to start the only thing my only complaint about selecting delivery is that you can't it doesn't automatically save it in your garage every time you choose a different car and you come back to the C9 it, uh, you have to go through the same option of choosing a livery all over again or a paint option so if I had to change one thing that would be it once you choose a livery make that the livery or the car that you would drive every time you choose that manufacturer and model unless you go in and you choose a different one then you would go through it again but if you wanted to just run the same livery or if, that, if you wanted to make that your overall theme online racing that would be cool but you have to go through the same thing every time that you want to choose the same livery and as you can see here we're going to there is the new livery that we chose relatively simple and if this video has been any help to you I just ask that you hit the like button and subscribe Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you on the grid. Shalom.